Introduction to Exponential Functions. In this lesson, an introduction to exponential functions, we're going to first connect to prior knowledge by comparing linear to quadratic to exponential functions. To graph the linear parent function y equals x, we can go to the y equals key and enter y equals x. And here is the linear parent function y equals x graphed in a standard window. And if we change linear function parameters, like we've done here, to y equals 2x minus 3, the graph of that function changes accordingly. Or we can graph the quadratic parent function y equals x squared, and this is what that graph looks like, its vertex a minimum at the origin. And if we change the parameters of the function, like we've done here, to make it y equals 2x squared minus 6, the graph of the function changes accordingly, a narrower graph shifted down 6 units on the coordinate plane. Or if the quadratic coefficient is a negative number like it is here at negative 0.5, the graph parabola opens downward. Let's go back to the quadratic parent function y equals x squared. What would happen in this function if we were to take the x to the power of 2 and just change the positions of the 2 and the x? So instead, it's 2 to the power of x. Do you notice how the graph is different? And here are the two functions interposed upon each other. And here are the two functions zoomed in on and labeled. And that's just switching positions of the x and the 2 in the function. There are two versions of the exponential functions. One is a growth exponential function. It starts small from the left and increases to the right. And there is a decay or decline function that starts out high at the left and goes down to the right approaching 0. The growth function shown is y equals 2 to the power of x, and the decay function is y equals 0.5 to the power of x. It's that number before the exponent that determines if it's going to be a growth or decline function. If that number or base is greater than 1, it's a growth function. If that number is less than 1, it declines or is a decay function. These two functions are mirror images of each other reflected about the y-axis. Here are some examples of exponential growth. There's growth by cell division. There's population growth. There's account growth used in com compounding of money over time. And there's the construction of notes of the musical scale, which is an exponential growth relationship. Real world examples include um, radioactive decay, population decline, production decline in the oil and gas industry, and depreciation used to track the value of cars and other depreciable equipment or assets. A linear function has the same rate of change throughout the domain of the function. For example, in the function y equals 2x minus 3, for an input of 0, the output is negative 3, and for an input of 1, it's negative 1. The output increases by 2 for every unit input increase. The slope or rate of change is 2. We'll look at some linear data. When each input value goes up by 1, each output value goes up by 2. That's a constant rate of change. A quadratic function has a rate of change that increases by the same amount for every unit change. For example, in the quadratic parent function y equals x squared, an input of 0 gives an output of 0, an input of 1 is 1, an input of 2 is 4. For every input increase of 1, the output value difference increases by 2 every time. The amount or change goes up the same amount with every input unit change. The increase or second difference increases by 2 with every unit change. An exponential function has a rate of change that increases or decreases by the same multiple or percentage for every unit increase. The amount of change goes up by a factor of 2 in this table with every unit increase. Each new output is found by multiplying the prior output by a factor, sometimes given in percentage. 0.5 times 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and so on. When the factor is greater than 1, or the base greater than 1, in this case it's 1.045, there is growth. Over a short enough span, an exponential function can appear to be linear. 
This is a function compounding $1,000 annually at an interest rate of 4.5%. The graph covers 10 years. With time, we see that the value of the investment goes up. When the factor or base is less than 1, there is decline or decay. This function is of the decline of carbon-14 due to radioactive decay. The graph spans 40,000 years. Over time, the amount of carbon-14 remaining goes down as it gradually goes back to become the more stable nitrogen. In music, notes follow the exponential relationship above. A below middle C is 220 hertz or cycles per second. Every half step up the chromatic scale is a percentage increase of about 5.94631 over the previous tone. Middle C has a frequency of about 261.63 Hz. And here is that point marked on the graph. This has been a brief introduction to the concept of exponential functions by comparison to linear and quadratic functions. Also examples of growth and decay were shown. This has been an introduction to exponential functions. Thanks for viewing.